people, the qualified people who would be interested in getting that valuable information will come to you and that is going to make them more qualified to do business with you. You give them a free trial. A lot of businesses are actually using this. I'm going to give you a free evaluation. Uh, you can use my product for free for uh, a short period. As we said, software companies use quite a lot of this, but you too can modify that tool to suit your business. How can I? What is my free trial offer? Think of it. What is it that I can offer for free that will get people coming to me rather than me going after them? You think of the free trial uh, product that will get people uh, more qualified to do business with you. Remember the blog. We created little information day in and day out. This week, next week, you have created that blog. You created that content. You can accumulate all of that information which you have spent time and effort into creating. Put it in a book, a short report that people can actually go and download uh, from your website. It's like how to avoid these mistakes in your business. Okay, this is the title of the book. And you actually put that ebook for free for people to download from your website. And this way, for them to get that, they need to put their name, their email, their, uh, their other contact details if you wish. And you then, once you've captured that information, because they were interested in getting that information, you are able to actually connect with them and build that relationship on a continuous basis. The know, like, trust and try, are, it's an ongoing thing. It's not like you do it once and that's it. It has to be persistent and you need to continue to do this over time. Because as we said, the buying trigger may not have taken place. And therefore, when they decide to buy your kind of product and service, you need to be ready. Uh, with that information to enable them. You need to be keeping in, in the minds of those customers so that they know who, where to go to to get your kind of information. How to guide. You can also give them tips and information on how to do certain things. All of this free content or, or the, the sort of things that you can provide to ask people, to get people to come to you to get them. And once you got them, then you begin to build that relationship and to engage with them. So, why two step? It takes less space. You're, t you're saying to them, come and get this sort of information. For you, if you find valuable, this is how what, what you need to do. It just takes less space than the ad that I see these days they're listing all of their products and services and it doesn't do them very well. They have already wasted their money and people are they don't know what to do. So it's very important that you actually use the two step because it it uses less ad space. It's automated follow up because in your website you can create something called the landing page. Uh, if you're not sure about what a landing page is, it's every time people go into your website, it comes in the beginning. And it says, if you're interested in downloading this, this free report, put your email and name and I will send it to you. Or you can get it automatically on your inbox. Any web designer can do this for you. So, you will know the number of people that have actually responded to your ad by getting that information through your website. It's automated. You don't have to chase anyone to get that. It's measurable. You can measure the impact of your ad. 
in different medium like today you put it in this newspaper uh, next day you put it uh, next week you put it in another and this way you can measure the effectiveness of your ad over time you know whether this ad in this particular newspaper getting you a return on investment better than the other one so you can easily measure the effectiveness of your ad you get higher response from the usual ads of, of saying come and buy if you're saying to people come and I'll give you something valuable you get a higher percentage of response on your ad as opposed to the other types of just come and buy it's permission based when I come to get that information or come to that event and register for it online with you and give you my contact details this way I'm really kind of giving you permission to sell to me to build a relationship with me I'm giving you that permission as opposed to someone who's standing behind my back trying to sell me something I, I didn't even ask for that kind of help what we're trying to do here is to get permission from people so that we begin to establish the relationship and engage with them so that we continue to be um, the kind of source for that kind of product and that kind of service for that particular client now what do you need to produce in terms of um, uh, direct response ad the uh, anatomy of a direct response ad you see the ad it has to have a single purpose you don't want to cram all of your products and service in one ad I have seen it honestly there I've seen an ad just a few days ago saying that we're uh, we provide technical support and technologies and they put computers, security systems, mobile, web design, all the list in one ad and you don't know who it is for. They put the logo, they put the name of the company and the list of products and the contact details. That's it. There's no message. There is nothing there that really tells me what this ad is all about and who is it for. So what I'm trying to say that every the, the the direct response ad has a single purpose. Okay? Now the headline of the ad is very important. Just like the the subject of an email, you have a few seconds to get the attention of people to read more. Now I would say, I would suggest that you spend more time on thinking of the headline than the other uh, content of your ad because this is the point where you're grabbing attention so you need to really think what would be the best headline that will capture the attention of the people to read more and find out more value proposition your direct response ad has to tell me the benefits and the value or the results that I'm going to get from taking action from going to your website from downloading that report from coming to your workshop or event from getting this free trial you need to tell me the benefits what is it what is it in for me to actually go and take the next step of getting that information that you're offering then what is the offer is it in the format of an ebook is it a workshop is it uh, you know the, the 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 actual format of that offer do I go in and download this report do I come and attend an event um, do you have an ebook you know what is it you know it's the kind of um, thing that I need to get in order to get that value what is it what is the format of that free stuff that you're offering call to action okay you told me what the value is you told me what it is in terms of the format 
whether it's uh, an event or an ebook or how to guide or something and then what do you want me to do what is the call of action how what is the next step what is the step or the action that you want me to take in order to get that value now I want to show you a very quick example of something this is a little bit too much but it just um, brings the idea of what is a two-step looks like um, and also you can find that this is a, a, a it's like a, a, a postcard this is one side of the postcard is there you can see this is one side and this is the other flip side of the postcard there's too much content and I would like to, to say in your ads you need to make a balance between content and design so what this two-step direct response say how many of these legal mistakes are you making in your construction business right now you see the headline is telling people that I'm gonna show you the mistakes if you're a construction company I'm gonna show you the legal mistakes that you're making and how to avoid them I'm not selling you anything see I'm saying that I'm gonna give you valuable stuff now the headline is primarily trying to capture the attention of the construction business the offer here is the free report yeah it's telling you free report reveals how to use a law firm to help you get the most from your construction business that's the free stuff now the value here you will be able to determine quickly what legal needs and what dangers and opportunities and strengths you can get in your business from a legal point of view and the action is basically to get this report is either to call this number or to go to the website and download it there are two things here if you put the number you need to make sure that the person answering that call knows exactly what to do with that prospect there's no point in putting a number I've seen it so many times people put numbers on their ads sometimes there's no answer and sometimes the person who's answering the call has no clue what to do so the number is very important and the person who's, call, who's um, responding to that number to the call is also very important he, he or she needs to know what to do next now if the person or the prospect decides to go and download this uh, report from your website the landing page will help for them to get the report they need to put their name their email number their contact details to get their report so this is really the two response um, to the two uh, um, step direct response ad a lot of people ask me where to advertise this is a tricky question because remember the uh, survey that we have done right at the beginning when we talk to our customers and we ask them where do you get your information what do you read what do you research it's something that helps us to identify the places the locations the medium that people use to find their information so where to advertise is something that is has to do with you doing the research about your target market this is a very powerful bit here small batch direct mail you know a lot of people now relying on sending newsletter and emails with their ads but I still feel believe that the old ways are still also very effective when I receive something in the mail tangible in my hand some pe people feel very comfortable in getting that and basically what you're trying to do with this direct mail it's sent to a small number it's not going to be sent to everyone you see 
the advertising game is a repetition game. If you send your direct mail to 5,000 people all at once, it's not going to be as effective as sending 